He's the highest grossing actor of all time. We're talking Jungle Fever, Pulp Fiction, Star Wars, The Avengers, and Snakes on the Plane. Y'all, get on your feet for the one and only Samuel L. Jackson! Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's our, um, that was a, that was a thing. See, this is what the news does to you, right? Uh -huh. So this was a gala for the theater communications group. Uh -huh. And, you know, COVID was going crazy, so she didn't want me to miss a show. And it was going to be a room full of people taking pictures and doing stuff. So she's like, you can't go. So I was on my way to my daughter's house. Mm -hmm. And we stopped to do this. And we stopped and took the pictures. And because I left, this whole big story came out the next day that we were beefing. Get clean it up. Let her know the thing, what it was. Right? Yes. So she went on and they said, well, she made an excuse saying, well, uh, you know, he was, you know, avoiding COVID or whatever, da, 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 and covering up for us fighting on the on the red carpet. Fight. Red carpet's not where you fight. Right. <laughs> it's like, do I look like I was going to a gala? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't have a tuxedo on, a jacket, or nothing else. So she was dressed up. I wasn't. I left, and all of a sudden, it was like, they were fighting. So, there was no beef. No, that was no. That was not even a raised voice on the carpet. But I don't know how that started. But you know, it went around the. You know, you it let went him through know. the circuit. Mm -hmm. Let him know. Like everything else. Baby. That's right. He said what he said. Y'all heard that? Yeah. Get him. He gonna clean it up for you. That's for sure. Now y'all been married 42 years, but been together over right 50 years. Yeah. So, how, like, I heard the proposal was... Well, how, see, how did it happen? My story was, I came home one day yeah, and bitch. she already had these invitations printed up and she gave me a stack and said, be here. Don't you love it? And she said, no, that's not what happened. I actually had to go and talk to her grandfather because he told her he wanted to walk her down the aisle before she died and her living in sin with this man. So I went and asked him for her hand or Aww. whatever. And that's probably what happened. Because I was on drugs, and I don't know what the hell was going on in my life at the time. <laughs> so, she's probably right. <laughs> her, her version, but I like my version better because okay. it sounds so much fun. But, you know, a guy to come home and you know, one goes, here. You go, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> and you but were there. the problem was, she had 23 bridesmaids, and I didn't have 23 friends. Really? So, wait a minute. So, she had 23 bridesmaids. Yeah. How many groomsmen did you have? I had, well, I had my friends, and then I had my friends ask their friends <laughs> if they were doing anything. It was on a Monday, because we were both work. She was doing a play. Uh-huh. And she was one of those color girls, so she was doing a play. And I was going to do ragtime the day after we got married. I was going to London okay. to do ragtime. So she had her 23 friends who were dancers, singers, and people performed. It was a production. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bomb. She like a party, huh? We got reviewed in the, the theater section of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. <laughs> Best show in town that night. We killed it. We killed it. But, um, yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was a big wedding. Big, 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 big wedding. So we both have wax figures. Yes. But you go visit yours? How uh, no, I don't. You don't? I used to. Uh, when, when I was doing Mountaintop with Angela Bassett uh -huh. uh, years ago, the, the first time I went back to Broadway, we were doing a play together, but we were rehearsing on 42nd Street across the street from Madame Tussauds, which I did this year. But now The Rock's out there. But oh, the Rock's he used there. to be out there all the time. So <laughs> there would be days when I would just cross the street and I would stand, like, I don't know, 15, 20 feet away from it and watch people take pictures with him, and nobody ever saw me standing there. They didn't? Nobody, nobody paid any attention to me being there. It was great. <laughs> but this was like back when... Mine's not so bad. Some of, those, some of them are like, woo <laughs> But uh, I remember when they came to my hotel room <laughs> when I was doing the first shaft, and the they did shaft. stuff. They, like, measured my head, yeah. the distance between my eyes and my nose, and they had a box full of eyes, and they would hold them up yeah. and match them. And <laughs> it was crazy. It's and they have you on this rotating thing <laughs> where they measure you, and they went in my closet <laughs> and looked at the clothes that were in there to see what, you know, what they were going to put on them. So they were doing it like that then. I don't know what they're doing now. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Is yeah. it still? It's a little... Yeah, it was tedious. But they came, it took about a week. Yeah. 
They kept coming every day. They took doing it a something. week? Yeah, they were coming every day and making sure they had the right shoe size, feet, and you know, everything. It was and crazy. eyeballs and everything. Yeah, huh. it, was, it was buck wild. Listen, listen. Now, you done, I mean, you've done some of everything. You've done a lot of films. But I got to tell you, my favorite, OK, you, Sam, you know I have a crush on King Kong, right? Really? King Kong is my first love. <laughs> yeah, do you see this? Look, I'm telling you, look at this picture right here in the frame for me, backstage. Do you see this? He's so beautiful. When I was, y'all, I'm dead serious. When I was a little girl, I used to get up and kiss the TV screen. Really? Yes. I still love King Kong. I even called my car. That was a good looking thing to you? He's still good looking. Y'all don't see this? What is wrong with y'all? That's the bro. That's the bro. Look, look that at him. He like, ah, What's girl, up? ah. What's up, girl? That's my How man right How there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 what is <laughs> what's it like working on King Kong? Well, let me tell you. When, when they called and said, uh, you know, we'd like to offer you King Kong, I was like, when do I have to be at work? See? It was like, and my agents were like, you don't, you don't just tell them it was OK. We haven't even started negotiating yet. <laughs> but See, you love King I'm Kong, I'm doing too. King Kong. See? You know, it's like, I've been fighting King Kong since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you was Come fighting on. him, and I was kissing I'm the TV screen. I'm ready to be in it with <laughs> King Kong. You know, I was like, yeah. Because, um, I mean, we had a whole thing. So when um, that was another actor supposed to do it, and when he fell out, and they said, well, like, well, don't call him back. You know, yeah, I'll no beat it. Back. And um, I was so hyped doing this movie. And it was funny, because we would say, well, how big is he? And they would go, uh, see that tree right there? And we go, that ain't big enough. OK. And they would go, well, use the tree as reference. So by the time the movie came out, and he was slapping helicopters down, I looked at the visual effects dude. I was like, <laughs> He ain't big as nothing. <laughs> Y'all had us all wrong about how big he was, you know? Not to mention, you know, where was he sleeping at night that we couldn't find him? <laughs> you know, no matter, you know, if he ever went to the bathroom, we knew exactly where he was, <laughs> you know, as big as he is in this, in this particular iteration. But no, I had always, I couldn't wait. It was, you know, I was so happy in that moment when he was, like, knocking those helicopters down and I was, in, in, in that helicopter doorway, and I got to lean out that doorway and go eye to eye with King Kong, like, You looked at I'm King coming, Kong and yeah. You know, it was like, Tell he him was like, ah, and I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. Ah. You know, I couldn't wait. So when he killed me, or I don't, I don't actually think he killed me, because it was really, really <laughs> wet that night, and the mud was soft. So when he did that to me, <laughs> I just went down in the mud. See? You know, he didn't really oh, kill me. Hurt so too. I didn't get to make the sequel. See? The sequel was good too, though. Oh, okay. The sequel. Did you watch the sequel? Yes, I did. And let me tell you, when Woo. I went to go see it, I took my son and all his cousins. Thank God we had the theater to ourselves. Because when I tell you, anytime King Kong hopped up on that screen, I hollered like nobody's business. <laughs> to the point the kids was like, what is going on? And I, I was so embarrassed, child. Oh, my God. I love me some King Kong. Kong got fans. Oh, All my right. God. I love him so yeah, much. He should be. He was, he's, he's awesome. You know? OK. But uh, no, that was, that was, that was a, a really great moment for me. I had a good time <laughs> doing that, believe yeah. me. You've done tons of films. What's the craziest thing you would say you ever did in the film? Uh, if you watch Long, have, have you ever seen Long Kiss Goodnight? Yes. OK. So at that point, when, uh, when uh, Gina and I are, um, running down that hallway and she shoots that glass window and then she machine guns the ice as we're jumping out the window uh -huh. so we can go into it when these people are chasing us. We thought that we did that part of it on some wires, jumped out a second story window and did it slow. And then one day we came to work and they said, we, we uh, found the perfect place for you to come up out of the ice. And we were like, are we doing that in the studio somewhere? And they were like, no, we got, you know, we can see the whole city behind you and the skyline, and we're going to do it live. Now, it was minus 37 degrees no. that day. And they cut a hole in the ice. When they cut a hole in the ice, the ice was like about five, four and a half, five feet high. And they cut a big hole out like this, and they had put a hot tub in it because there was a current in the lake. So in it. 
to make sure we didn't float away. So they put the hot tub what? down, in the, the, the tub down in there. We crawl across the ice and said, get in. Now they would have to break the ice because it would freeze over between <laughs> shots. So they break the ice and we would get in. They say, count to five and then come up. So me and Gina, first time we got in, she's married to the director, so what am I going to say? <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. And she's like, come on, Sam, let's go. So we, we do it. We go, count to five, come up, crawl across the ice, and they put us in a hot tub while they look at the replay. Mm. You know, I think we got to do it again. <laughs> so we did it five times. I have never felt anything like that in my life. You know that you drink milk too fast headache you get? Yes. Multiply that by like 20. That's the effect. Oh, Lord. My brain was like, what are we <laughs> doing? <laughs> and it was like, and after the fifth time, they had, they had EMS people there, all kind of stuff. I was like, why are they here? <laughs> so by the time we got to the fifth time, I came out, I got in the hot tub, and when I woke up, I was in my trailer. When you woke up? Yeah. I was in my trailer in one of those silver blankets that they put you in when you run the marathon. No. Oh, Lord. I have never, ever, ever in my life felt anything like that. That's why. It was like heart attack inducing. Oh, but, my God. Uh, I love doing that movie. That movie, was, that's one of my favorite movies. I love All that. your movies are our favorite movies. I mean, once you get in this business, yeah. you know, everybody does it for whatever reasons they do it, you know, mm -hmm. but... I still, you know, pick movies that I would have gone to see when I was a kid. I mean, that's, how, how, how else would I end up doing something like Snakes on a Plane? You know, I mean, <laughs> I was sitting reading Variety one day and I said, you know, Snakes on a Plane, da 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 And a friend of mine was directing it. The guy that had, had uh, done 51st State um, was directing it. So I called him. I was like, yo, you know a movie called Snakes on a Plane? He's like, yeah. I was like, is it, like, a plane full of snakes? He's I was like, gonna yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, really? Like, <laughs> crazy poisonous snakes? He's like, yeah. I was like, can I be in it? And he was like, you want to be in it? What? So he called New Line, and they were like, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, and he got fired. <laughs> what? And, you know, I was like, well, I'm sorry, man. I got to do this movie. Yeah, snakes on a plane. I got to do it. But then I get there. Uh -huh. The first day I get there, and they got you know they got our chairs and everything all hooked up, and it's like, flight Pan, Pan American flight two number two eighty seven. I was like, well, what is what is? So well, Sam, you know we, we don't want to give it away. I said, well, I'm not doing it if it's not snakes on a plane. Okay, so that's what I signed up for snakes on a plane. You know I don't care. And people people need to know it's snakes on a plane. That's why we're here. <laughs> You know, nobody coming to see Pacific Flight 127. No, we want the snakes Hell, no. on the plane. Snakes on the plane. Was it really snakes on the plane? You mean, did we have real snakes? Yeah. We had a that? room full of snakes. We had, a whole, we had a whole room that was dedicated to snakes. That, you know, and they had snake handlers and everything. And they had like these, um, you know those big laundry carts you see in the hotel when they're pushing sheets and stuff? Yeah. So they had like corn snakes and stuff in there. So when we got there, like, the first day we got there, there might have been 30 of them in there. But by the time we finished, those snakes was balling out at night. That thing was, like, half full of snakes, and it was, like, working. You so happy about it? It was great. I didn't mess with the poisonous ones, you know, but they had, they had them on a shelf in, in, you know, cases and whatnot. But, yeah, it was a room full of snakes. Yeah, we had snake handlers and everything around. And you've been playing Nick Fury for over 15 years. Is you, that right? You, you still love it. Is that you what seem happened? so passionate about it. Listen, <laughs> you know? listen, I didn't, I was. You don't know? No, I don't. I just, I just keep coming to work. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was in the comic book store uh -huh. years ago, and uh, there was this comic called The Ultimates. I was in a comic book store today. But I was in a comic book store, and I picked it up, and I was looking at it, and I was like, I don't remember giving anybody permission to use my image to be in a comic book. So I called my, my managers like, I'm in the comic book store and uh, blah, blah, blah. And as I'm standing there looking at it and talking to her about it, I'm reading where it says, if they do a movie about us, who do you want to be you? And, my, and the guy who looked like me said, Samuel L. Jackson. And I was like, oh, I'll call you back. <laughs> so, and... <laughs> I called her back afterwards, and bu I bought the comic, then ran over there and showed it to her, and she called Marvel. Marvel was in one little room then. It was a little closet. Oh and they were like, well, we hope to make 
some movies one day, and we hope that if we do it, Sam will, you know, be this guy. And Mark Miller, the mm -hmm. guy who uh, actually drew Nick Fury as me, is the same guy who actually drew Richmond Valentine as me in The Kingsman. Oh, my God. So he likes me, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, I like yeah. <laughs> Next thing I know, you know, I'm having a meeting with them, and they said, look, uh, we'd like to offer you a nine-picture deal to do this thing. So at that time, I'm, I'm like, nine pictures? How long I got to stay alive to do nine pictures? <laughs> you know, not knowing that they were going to make nine movies in, like, 15 months or something like that, you know? So that contract was up <laughs> real quick, and they kept calling me back. So, you know, here I am still being Nick Fury and uh, loving every minute of Yay. it. Yay! But recently, you got to live a, a... You had a dream come true, and you got to be on Sesame Street. <laughs> you was excited about it, huh? You well, got to be on Sesame Street. That's a big deal, y'all. Listen, I was... You know, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been trying to get on Sesame Street for, like, ever. Every time I look on Sesame Street and I see somebody is on I'm like, how do you get on there and I'm not on Sesame Street? <laughs> Uh, ever since Zoe was a kid, that was like, our, you know, one of our favorite shows. She learned how to operate a VCR, mm. recording Sesame Street. So, yeah, I was, I was totally hyped to get on there and do it, you know. And when we finished doing all this, <laughs> we spent, like, they had to run us out of the studio. We were in there taking selfies with every Muppet. You know? <laughs> it's like, we were trying to make them bring Snuffleupagus down out of, because Snuffleupagus was up in the rafters. We are like, bring it down! <laughs> You know, we're on a picture with Snuffy. You know, get it down here. You know, but um, yeah, this was amazing, and it was—it's totally crazy too because that's actually my sweater. Because they usually say, usually when when a guest show up, they have to put something colorful on them mm. because they just come and they don't know. But I. So you even knew I was what in to my wear. Sesame Street head before I got did there. Did you plan your look? You I did. You planned it. I totally. Yeah. You was ready. ready. I was about it. You know, I was trying to be there for you that. You look so happy. Look at him. He's just I so was, smiling. I was happy, happy, happy. Listen, when I got to go, that. I sang them Muppets down. So I know how you feel. <laughs> I'm glad you got to do yeah. it. And, you know, it's always something, you know, even though Zoe's grown now, she's like, get that, you want that for <laughs> Finally, you know, because I... I've been trying to do some stuff that she could watch since she was a baby, yeah. but you know, it wasn't possible for a while. <laughs> um, there were no Incredibles and all that stuff, and you know, so. But You're a great dad, then. This was, this was awesome. Awesome. He's still excited. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.